Jersey-based Goya Foods, a staple in so many Latino households for generations, now facing calls for a boycott over this. The company CEO saying at the White House yesterday the country is so blessed to have him as our leader. Well, the backlash was swift. The hashtags Boycott Goya and Goya Way now trending, and many prominent Latino voices outraged. In the past, the president has called Mexican immigrants rapists who are bringing crime to this country. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles. We're all truly blessed at the same time to have a leader like President Trump who is a builder. And that's what my grandfather did. He came to this country to build, to grow, to prosper. This is what the owner of the most prosperous Latino-owned food company in the U.S. said that got him into trouble with his loyal customers. Robert Unanue was invited to the Rose Garden Thursday as a part of the president's Hispanic Prosperity Initiative. And this morning on Fox News, he doubled down on what he said yesterday. I'm not apologizing for uh, saying, and especially if you're called by the president of the United States, you're going to say, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm busy. The comments set social media on fire with calls for a boycott. Lynn Manuel Miranda tweeted, We can learn to make our own adobo con pimienta. Bye. And former Democratic presidential candidate Julian Castro tweeted, Americans should think twice before buying their products. Hashtag Goya away. I, for one, am totally baffled as to why the CEO of Goya, which is such a predominant a staple in so many Latino households would go out and praise a president that wants to exclude Latinos, that wants to cage our children and separate our families. What should the next move be for Goya in terms of PR? Uh, the company itself seems to be pushing ahead with its donation plans. In this tweet today, Goya Foods focused on the initiative that got the CEO invited to the White House in the first place, a two million pound food donation to food banks. As for calls for a boycott, Jessica Wall, the food reporter for Ad Age, says it is way too early to tell. What kind of economic impact could this really have? It's an unknown at this point, I think, Darla. I think that once the the buzz of it dies down, we'll see what people really do go out and purchase.